so we need to have a stable a stable Okay, so all of you can see the different uh, measures here. All of you can see the measures. Euclidean. Square root of x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 whole square. Time complexity is zero. Very common, easy to compute, it. compute the uh, algorithm. Sensitive to outliers. Euclidean is sensitive to outliers. Similarly, average distance. It is also better than Euclidean at handling outliers. Average distance can be used when you're handling outliers. Weighted Euclidean is there, which is same as average distance. It can also be good at uh, handling outliers. mahal nobis distance is there. It is computationally intensive. Cosine measure is there. Cosine we use in text mining and all. That is also a very interesting one. Cosine is very interesting to use. Canberra, Chekhanovsky, Pearson coefficient. Hamming is not there here. Hamming and cosine are used in text mining. Hamming and cosine are used in text mining. But otherwise, these are the common distance measures which are used in KNN. So KNN predominantly, if you are looking at KNN distance measures, uh, we predominantly use uh, what we call as uh, Euclidean, Minkowski,
So in Python, these are the measures which are widely used. Euclidean, Manhattan and Minkowski and Hamming for text, Hamming distance for text. So let me pay, paste the Hamming distance. This is an interesting one which we use in text mining. Okay, so these are the various measures which are used in KNN algorithm. It's purely a distance based algorithm. It's a lazy algorithm because it not it does not pre calculate the parameters and store in memory. It will only do the calculation when the predicted value is given to it. Okay, so all of you can open the Excel sheet, the classification part, we will run KNN as a classification first. So we have two independent variables, height of the person and weight of the person. And what is the t-shirt size that we have to, that we can recommend. The prediction is a binary prediction. The K value is assumed. Initially the K value will be assumed. By default in Python, K value is five. So basically K and N, uh, uses various distance measures, but we must do scaling and normalization we must do scaling n or normalization not end or standard scaling or normalization must be done now i want to do the first example with scaling the first example will be done using scaling so for scaling what we need we need average and we need standard deviation we need average and we need standard deviation. So let us calculate the average is equal to average of height. Is equal to STDEV standard deviation Calculate the standard deviation and uh, average of the columns height and weight. Okay, all of you have scaled it. Height underscore scale. Weight underscore scale. So we'll do the scaling of the data.
all right now the formula is equal to open bracket x minus mean mean is constant for all so fix it by pressing f4 close bracket divided by standard deviation standard deviation is also common for all fix it by pressing f4 is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation standard scaling mean is constant so fix the mean cell divided by standard deviation which is constant to standardize that and double click the formula it will calculate till down x minus mean divided by standard deviation the formula is x minus mean divided by standard deviation mean and standard deviation you need to fix them because it will be constant for all the calculations All right, got it. Do the same process for weight. Is equal to open bracket x minus mean. Mean is constant. Press F4 or Fn plus F4 divided by standard deviation. Press F4 or Fn plus F4. The formula of scale height done. Got it, all of you. Formula. So we want to predict the T-shirt size. We want to predict the T-shirt size based on height and weight. Based on height and weight. This is the objective. Predict T-shirt size based on height and weight. Now, you have to predict for a customer, predict for a customer, you have to predict for a customer whose height and weight are following. Height is 168, weight is 71. You have to predict for a customer whose height is 168 and whose weight is 71. Now these also have to be scaled. These observations also have to be scaled is equal to open bracket x minus mean
divided by standard deviation for this also is equal to open bracket x minus mean divided by standard deviation So what is the T-shirt re recommended for the person whose height is 168 centimeters and whose weight is 71 kgs? Okay, we have scaled the values. Now we will calculate the Euclidean distance. So is equal to square root of y2 minus, sorry, x2 minus x1 whole square, this is fixed, plus open bracket y2, fix it, minus y1 whole square, close bracket, is equal to square root of x2 minus x1, x2 is 0 0.92, you have to fix the value because that is the constant x2 for all the things plus y2 y2 is your weight scale minus the weight uh, scale y1 you have to fix the 0 0.92 and 3.29 because you are calculating distance from that point right whichever is the closest to the point you are calculating so the predicted values so we are calculating the distance between the predicted values predicted value and the actual value the predicted value is 0 0.92 and 3.829. We need to predict the t-shirt size for these people. So we are calculating the distance between the predicted observation and the independent variables completely. So we get the distance as 4.56. You can double click it if you have done the proper calculation and you can reduce it to two decimal. In middle it. This is the formula.
Got it? Got it, all of you? Now, we need to sort the Euclidean distance. We need to sort the Euclidean distance from smallest to largest. Expand selection, sort, you got the smallest to largest. We need to sort in ascending order. Assume K is equal to three. Assume K is equal to three if you assume k is equal to three what are the top three distances these are the top three distances right and what is the size l assume k is equal to three predicted t-shirt size is l you can also assume k is equal to five what are the five top? One, two, three, four, five. Assume K is equal to five. Predict T shirt. Predicted T shirt size is L. So you have to sort the equilibrium distance from smallest to largest. You have to sort this from smallest to largest. Home tab, sort and filter. Select the values. Home tab, sort and filter. See, first select the values. Home tab, sort and filter, smallest to largest. Expand sort selection. It will give a prompt. Use expand sort selection. What did all of you?
This sort is not happening. You should not uh, select the headers, only the values. Uh. 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 Uh, yeah, obviously, obviously, everything get adjusted. What are the first values are getting? There's some problem with your data. See, the problem is to make this space, which is also being selected to sort. I gave gap now, you see. How to, if you don't give gap, obviously it will take those cells also and it will find it difficult to sort. Give a gap for sort, no? Got it all of a sudden, you got it? No, no, select the top. You are selecting one cell, you have to select the whole column of okay. uh. So you have a filter, remove the filter, remove the filter, remove the filter. That is the problem. Remove filter, you should not do both. You have to sort and filter. Laptop, two dollars and simply inserted. So, assuming k is equal to three, the short three short distances are already there. What is the majority class? L. Even if you take k is equal to five, what is the majority class? L. 
majority class always take k value as odd number so that you can have a majority voting this is done based on majority voting whichever class comes more in that k value that will be the final predicted class okay so k is equal to 3 and k is equal to 5 both is giving us the t shift side recommended is large now i want you to do the normalization method copy the data into a new sheet in the same workbook now you have to use normalization height underscore norm weight underscore norm what is the formula for normalization x minus x min divided by x max minus x min so you have to calculate min and max is equal to min of the values is equal to max of the values calculate the normalization then the euclidean distance predict for the same predict for a customer whose height and weight height is 168 weight is 71 and you also have to norm the values norm of these values and norm of these values so the formula is of what normalization formula x minus x min divided by x max minus x min So is equal to open bracket x minus x min close bracket x min is common for all. So you have to press F four or F n plus F four divided by x max. Again you have to fix it 
because that is common for all minus x min again fix it by pressing f4 it is common to all x minus x min divided by x max minus x min we got one So you have to fix three cells by pressing F4 or Fn plus F4. This is the formula for the first cell. First calculate the min and max of the columns, then x minus x min divided by x max minus x min. Got it? Similarly, is it equal to open bracket 
x minus x min which is the cell close bracket divided by open bracket x max fix the cell minus x min fix the cell so we got again one okay this also we can make it two decimal now you have to normalize this also x minus x min divided by x max minus x min this also is equal to open bracket x minus x min divided by open bracket x max minus x min we have normalized these two values also <laughs> Now we will calculate the distance. Is equal to SQRT open two brackets x two minus x one. X two has to be fixed to the power of two plus open bracket y two has to be fixed to minus y one to the power of two. Close bracket. Sort largest to right. assume k is equal to three. The top three are. L assume K is equal to five. Also, the predicted T-shirt is L. Got it? You have to fix these two cells. They are common for all now. X2 and X2 are right over common for all.
Hmm. Okay. I have done with classification. You have scaled the data for regression. Then you sorted the data. Once you sort the data, you will take the average of the three. Take for example, you are predicting for a person who's whose age and loan. Age is thirty-eight. Who has a loan of one lakh twenty thousand? This also you have to scale, and then. H underscore scale loan underscore scale locally distance so on average standard deviation you have to calculate. Is equal to average is equal to std ev equal to average into std ev is average in standard deviation. Scale and then calculate. K is equal to three. K is equal to five. You will take the average of house price index.
Hello. Good morning. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Okay, very good. So what is the value you got? Equal to x minus mean fixed divided by standard deviation fixed. Equal to x minus mean fixed divided by standard deviation fixed. This also you have to scale is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation. Now is equal to SQRT open two brackets. This you fix it to the power of two plus open bracket, fix the cell minus, select this to the power of two close bracket. Right. Then sort and filter, sort smallest to largest, expand sort, okay. So assume k is equal to 3, the predicted house price index, house price index is the average of 3. So 1, 2, 3, you can see in the bottom average, 176.67. So average of this three, you can see in the bottom, 176.67. One seventy six point six seven. If you assume K is equal to five, then the predicted you have to take top five, one, two, three, four, five. The predicted is two hundred point four. Two hundred point four. So just take these three, K is equal to three. In the bottom, you can see the average, right? You see the average here. 176.67. So the predicted value is 167.67. If you take average, you take the average of five values, but before that you have to sort smallest to largest.
Okay. So one of the common interview questions is when to use normalization and when to use standardization. One of the common interview questions you face is when to use normalization, when to use standardization. Okay. So normalization is good. Normalization is good when you is good to use when you know the data does not follow normal distribution when does not follow a normal distribution when you know that your data independent variables are not normally distributed then use normalization this is popular in non parametric algorithms like knn this is popular in knn and also neural networks in neural networks also to make the calculation faster it is advisable to either uh, standardize or normalize the data got it then standardization standardization is used when the data follows the gaussian or normal distribution gaussian or normal distribution standardization generates negative values also whereas uh, normalization does not generate negative values that is another difference you need to understand when you are dealing with what to use when standardization and normalization All right, all of you open uh, your what you call uh, 